G'day and welcome to Disc Golf Down Under. It's Matt here and welcome also to the Disc Golf Down Under Indoor Training Center. Now, I'm sure you've all heard one of the Disc Golf Commandments, thou shalt putt with a baseline plastic. Well, I've been playing for almost seven years now and this is one of those axioms that I just took for granted. Why? Well, baseline plastics generally have a better grip and feel in the hand and apparently they react better with the basket and the chains. But these days there's a wider range of different plastics and some of the premium plastics are actually quite grippy. So, is it still the case today that it's a 100% sure thing that you must putt with a baseline plastic? So, join me on a journey, possibly down a deep dark rabbit hole, to investigate this and see if it's still the case in 2023 and beyond. Okay, if you're new to the channel, a bit of background about me. I've been playing exclusively with MVP's discs, including the Axiom and Streamline brands for about the past three to four years. I'm also an engineer and the physics behind disc golf is something that's always interested me. Now, if you've watched my channel for a while, you'll know that I'm a huge fan of the Axiom Envy. And the Envy is one of my favorite driving putters and I did putt with the Envy a few years ago as well. Now, I have the Envy in every available plastic and I did a video last year on the stability of MVP's plastics. So if you missed that, you can check that out in the card above. And well, it's time to dust off the collection and use a bit of maths and science to investigate if baseline plastic is a must for putting or is there something better hidden away in this collection waiting to be discovered? So I've set up an experiment and this will be a baseline for further future experiments. And the plan is to do a lot of putting, collect the data and then statistically analyze the results. For these types of experiments, we need to fix as many of the conditions as possible and vary only one thing at a time. And that means I'm putting indoors to remove the effect of wind and I've set up the basket at seven and a half meters or 25 feet. Now this is a distance that I'm reasonably okay at and it's still about the putting mechanics, not the flight of the disc. So I'm gonna be using my nine envies, which all weigh around 170 grams or above and the only variable will be the plastic. So let's run through the different contenders. Okay, the first envy is an electron, a baseline plastic from MVP. And uh, this one is a 172 gram. It is on the softer side, it is a medium blend, but it is very similar to the soft blends. I don't actually have a electron soft in the Envy, but this one is about as soft as it gets in my collection. Um, then we've gone to the other end of the baseline plastics, which is the electron firm. And this is a cosmic electron at 174 grams, and it's very hard and solid. Then moving on to Neutron. So this is a new disc that I've just got recently, 174 grams in the Cosmic Neutron. Um, this one replaced, uh, you might remember from my stability shootout, the Neutron, which was a lab second, was a very flippy disc. So this one I've uh, bought to replace the lab second um, and we'll see how it goes. We also have a soft Neutron Envy. So this is much softer and more flexible. And this one is 174 grams as well. Uh, Proton with some sparkles and glitter in there. So this one is 168 grams and uh, very similar to the Champion Plastic from Innova. We then have a Plasma Plastic, which is a little bit softer, a little bit more gummy, very similar to G-Star and it is 171 grams. Uh, we then have the prism plastic, which is, uh, this is a plasma with, uh, with a different overmold on the outside, that's 174 grams. And then another new addition to my collection is the Fission Envy. This one's at 175, max weight. Um, very nice grippy disc, feels good in the hand. This could be a, uh, a dark horse. And we also, of course, have the 175 gram Eclipse Glow Plastic, which also feels very good, very grippy, and uh, may also be very uh, much an outside contender. So I'm gonna do 36 putts with each disc and keep a record of the results, which will be very binary with either an in or an out. I'll also keep an eye out for any unusual reactions and record these also to see if any of the plastics act differently. 
And I'm also going to rotate which disc I throw first in each round because we all know that the first disc is more likely to miss. Okay, so let's get started and collect some data. Leave a comment down below with your prediction on which plastic will win. Okay, so I've crunched the numbers and let's have a look at the results. And I said at the beginning that I was aiming for 36 putts with each disc. And well, I made that, was feeling good and decided to push on aiming for 45. However, I did start to hit the wall around round 42 and my accuracy started to drop off and I started missing left and right. So I wound the results back to 40 putts with each disc for a total of 360 putts. Now, I haven't putted with the Envy for a few years and these days I putt with the more neutral streamlined pilot. So my accuracy wasn't quite up to my normal standard, but not far off. I hit 235 of my 360 putts, giving an overall average of 65% at seven and a half meters or 25 feet, which is fairly close to two out of three. So let's talk about each of the plastics, starting with the baseline Electron Soft. It scored a disappointing average of 53% or just over half. And this was both a surprise, but not a surprise. So ever since starting disc golf, I've experimented with both soft putters and hard putters. And I've found for my putting style that I much prefer the, a harder, firmer disc. I feel like I get a cleaner release. And, and during this experiment, I didn't feel comfortable or confident with the Electron Soft Plastic. So no huge surprise that I don't have many Electron Soft Discs in my collection, but I was surprised that the percentage was so much lower than the overall average. Moving on to the middle of the pack now, and the Electron Firm, the Neutron, the Neutron Soft, and the Proton all scored an average of 63%. And I was actually surprised to see the same result for all these discs 
but in a way, not that surprised because I didn't feel any real difference off the hand with any of these discs. Next, Eclipse at 65% and this was another surprise. I really like the feel of the Eclipse plastic in the hand and I like how it comes off the fingers. But I noticed with the Eclipse Envy that I was just a fraction low on a high percentage of putts. Now, I know it's not the case, but the Eclipse feels heavier than all the other discs. And maybe if I was putting with this disc more often, I could adjust. Next up is Plasma at 68%. And again, I like the feel of this plastic, just like the Eclipse, and I feel confident putting with it. So no surprise that it's marginally better than the average score. And moving on to the runner-up, and we have the new Fission Envy coming in at 75%. I was sort of expecting the Fission Plastic to do well and it didn't disappoint. I really love the feel of the latest Fission Plastic blend from MVP and I actually enjoyed putting with this disc. This disc was what gave me the idea for this video. Now, I feel that the grippy plastic helps with putting, but we also have the additional gyro effect with Fission Discs. For those of you new to MVP, Fission Discs have a less dense plastic in the flight plate and a denser, heavier plastic in the overmold rim, which gives it a higher moment of inertia for a disc of the same weight. So I do wonder if this might be helping putting, especially with holding the line better. And moving on to the winner with an average of 78%, the Prism Plasma. And this was a huge surprise for me and completely unexpected. The flight plate of this disc is plasma plastic, same as the standard plasma disc, which gave a decidedly average score. But the overmold is proton plastic, which is slicker. And I've always thought that a rubbery, grippy overmold was what you need for a putter, but maybe the opposite is true, allowing for the disc to release off the fingers cleaner. Strangely, also, I didn't feel confident with the prism plasma. Many times out of the hand, I didn't feel like the disc was going in, but then it did. And the first few times I thought maybe it was luck, but by the end, I felt there was something different going on. What it is, I don't know yet, and I'm keen to experiment more. Now, I also mentioned that I'd keep track of any unusual reactions or weird spit outs from the test, and I have to say that I didn't notice any disc misbehaving more than any of the others. I saw a single spit from both the electron discs, the proton and the plasma, and two or maybe three bad reactions from the neutron soft. Was it the fault of the plastic that it spit out or just bad luck on where it hit? I can't say at this time. Now, this is just the beginning, but I think I can clearly say that the concept of putting with the baseline plastic is not set in stone. And before I wrap this one up, I do want to say that this result is based on my experiences with my putting style and my body. There are an infinite number of variables from different putting styles, hand size, finger length, skin texture, weather conditions, and more. And what works for me may not work for you. So, why not experiment for yourself? Go and grab your favorite putter, and hopefully it's available in more than just baseline plastic. Then go out, putt heaps, and record the results. You may be surprised. And this is exactly what the top level pro players do to find out what putter works best for them. They'll throw maybe a thousand putts with each putter, all different distances, and use maths and statistics to determine which putter works for them. And you may find that one disc works best inside the circle and a different disc works better for the longer putts inside circle two. Okay, so we've started down a bit of a rabbit hole and so far I'm intrigued with the results of the first experiment. So where do we go next? Well, I know what some of you might say. Baseline plastics have better grip when your hands are sweaty or when it's raining. Well, okay, so in my next video, I'm going to investigate wet discs and whether this axiom is also true or bunkum. I'll put a card above with a link to this video when it's available, or you can also check the video description. Also, I'm keen to hear from you on what other factors you'd like to see me investigate. Perhaps putting from different distances, using friction gloves, grip enhancers, chalk, or other ideas. Leave a comment below on what you'd like to see me cover. Anyway, I think that's enough for this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button and subscribe to Disc Off Down Under for more upcoming content on the channel. Uh, hopefully you'll join me for my next video where I'll be investigating wet discs and whether that makes any difference to which plastic you should use. Thanks for watching and bye for now.
Moving on to the middle of the pack now, and the Electron Firm, the Neutron, the Neutron Soft, <laughs> the Neutron, Neutron Soft, and the Proton. Get it right, dude. 